In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the content workflow uh, process. What this does is it allow you, allows you to save changes to your site without making them live, but it also allows the possibility to set one person as a content approver and then the other as a content author. So the author wouldn't be able to make live changes to the site without the content administrator saying it's okay and approving the change. So now there's different ways that this can be set up and it's not the same for every site. So you would have to ask us if you want it, it to work in a specific way. But I'm gonna assume that you have two separate people approving and creating changes. Now here's how this would work. If I was logged in as a content author, I would see my yellow bar and I can edit my modules. Um, so if I'm in edit mode, and say I wanna make a change to this page, I wanna put the word test up here. I would go ahead and hit create draft. Now this also depends on, on how it's set up. Sometimes you can set it up where the only thing the user can do is, set, is create drafts. Um, in this case, since I'm an administrator, I, I could really do both. But for the sake of argument, pretend that the content author can only see create draft. So they would create the draft and they can see the change here. It's live, but it's not live to the world. Only when logged in as an administrator or content author will you see this change. Now what you'll notice here is that there's some buttons that have been um, added since I've made an update draft change. So I could go ahead as an author and revert this change back. If I click this, then it would get rid of my last change that I made. Now if I said, okay, this looks good, my changes are in place, I wanna go ahead and have somebody approve this, I would click this request approval button and that changes the page again. Now, if I was a content administrator, I would log in and I would see the reject or approve. Now, they can also see what's going on on this page by going under workflow, and up here they could see content awaiting for approval and draft pages. Um, so this is a page waiting for approval. This is the one that I just clicked and asked for approval. You can see when the approval was made by who and where it is. And if you click on it, the administrator then could go to this page and say, okay, here's the change. This looks good. I'm going to approve it. Or they could say, no, I don't like that. And I'm going to reject it. And they could give a message of any sort as to why they want to reject that page. Now this is still in draft mode, but it's no longer waiting for approval. So if you go under workflow, waiting for approval, it's not there. But now, if you click draft mode, oh, no, that's not quite right either. Um, oh, rejected, here's what I meant to click on. Under rejected content, you're gonna see uh, why it was rejected and what the comment does and then where the page is. So then you could come back as an author and say, okay, fine, I'm either gonna edit the page again or they could say, okay, I guess we don't need this and I'm gonna revert back and now revert it back to um, the way it was. So it's a little bit complicated, but it's actually really easy to use once, once you learn it. There's basically just two separate reasons for this. Um, you know, like I said, if you wanted someone just to approve content and one to author it. Also, if you're only solely editing the website, this can be an interesting thing to do because then it allows you to go into the site and make changes to pages And if you have a lot of changes like that, you can go into your workflow and see what's waiting for approval and what's not. Um, you know, so if you had a bunch of pages and you, you couldn't remember what you were working on, you could just go and say, oh, okay, this is what I'm working on. This is what's not alive, not live yet. Um, so there's a lot of different kind of creative uses for the content approval and workflow system. If you have a specific need and a way that you want it to work, um, just let us know because there are different settings and way that we, ways that we can set this all up. So, so that's that.